Rich Spazano here from Digitally Feelers, and today we're going to create a catfish. It'll be just kind of a little bit of fun, so let's get started. So I have all the links below in the description if you want to use the same photos. I had trouble finding some good ones, so if you find better ones, uh, try that out. So here we go. So the first thing I'm going to bring in is this cat. And it's a, it's a cat, and it's on white, white background. So the first thing I need to do is mask out the cat, uh, get rid of the background. So I'm just going to take my mask here and start doing this and following it. And since it's on a white background, it should not be too bad. Um, as I always say to you, I am really not going to do a great job of masking. Otherwise, the video will take a lot of time, but you should take your time in doing this. Let's see. We'll just let's get the main part. I'm also reminding you that I am not in my home. I'm in, I am now in Florida for a while, so I'm not in my home studio. So things are not as easy for me working here. I'm going to hit the Option key or the Alt for Windows and get rid of some of this other stuff here. Um, let's get a close-up uh, space bar. I'll move it and I might speed this up. Not sure at this point so you can so that won't take so long for you. And I think that looks pretty good. So now we'll hit refine and what we can do with refine is I'm going to make the brush a little bit smaller. That's my left bracket and I'm just going to come right between the cat and the outside and maybe even a little bit smaller and just a little at a time I'm going like that. It's not going to be perfect. I'm just hoping that we get it the best we can just so we can use this tutorial. We'll see. Uh, let's do up here so we can get some of that fur in. Like I said, I think it'll be good enough for this particular tutorial. You should spend more time doing this. And let's see what it looks like on another color. Let's pull back out. And here, instead of overlay, let's do a black matte. And that's not bad. Again, not perfect, but that's going to be good enough for what we need it to do. So we will now say mask and apply. Now, it doesn't look any different because there's a white background anyway on this, on this uh, particular document but at least we know that we've masked it out. So that's pretty good. So let's take that. This is where my originals were. I want to really make a duplicate. No, you know what? I'll just start to drag it up to the top and that's away from our originals. So there we go there. Now, the second item I'm going to need is a fish. And I found this goldfish. Again, the link is going to be somewhere in the description. I'll, I think I'll just duplicate the goldfish right now and bring it up to the front. I should have done that with the cat. You know what? I'm going to duplicate the cat, control command J, and move that here. Okay, so now let's keep the originals where they are. And now we're going to do the same thing with the fish. We need to mask out the fish. So we're going to, again, take the selection mask tool. And since the photo I found is on a white background, it's also pretty easy. It kind of knows where everything is. I could have masked the white part instead of the, the fish, but I think this works out just fine. Yeah. And the nice part, we really don't really have to worry about the front of the fish. 
because we're getting rid of the front. And I think that's good. Maybe a little bit right here where the fin is. I can small bracket and with my option key, I'm going to take away just a little bit more of that and then add that in. And same here. I don't know if we'll be using this spot, but there we go. And then we right here I can add a little bit. And let's take a look. Double click there. And that's pretty good. And if we go back to mask, we can hit refine. And we're going to do a little bit of refining here. We're just going to do the same thing. Whoops. I'm undoing that. I shouldn't do it that close. You should kind of split in like right at the edge between half, half and half, I would say, your brush should cover. And I think mostly what we need to worry about is this fin. And let some of it fade. I'm not worried about some of it fading. So let's get that out of the way. Because the fin is a little bit transparent. Oops, I'm going to undo that because I didn't like how I had my brush going over it. I'm using a mouse again. And I'm not using my laser. I brought the wrong mouse with me, so <laughs> I'm having some problems here trying to do these tutorials. But I know you've all, many of you have requested some, so I am doing them. I'm so happy that you requested them. I didn't think people really cared about them. And so we will mask that and say apply. And now we have our fish mask and we have our cat mask. So now we need to get them into place and figure out their sizes. So let's take the cat, the kitten, and let's put the kitten in place. Maybe there. I don't know exactly. Let's try that. And let's take the fish and... I don't know, oh, we're showing two. Sorry, there we go. Uh, we'll take the fish and kind of figure out where, let's let's take a little transparency on the kit, kitten, and let's take the fish and try and figure out where we're going to be going with this fish. So I think kind of on the angle of the fish, of the cat's body, would be, if you would think of a cat like that, I think that's actually pretty much where we would, might want it to be. And, I think because the fish comes in lower than the cat's feet, we're going to warp this fish. So when you warp it, it rasterizes it. So I'm going to make a copy just in case. So control or command J. And I'm going to hide the one below. And I'm going to give it right here. I'm going to hold down on the, and put mesh warp tool. I'm going to try and get the fish up a little higher this way but going kind of like that but we want to also keep the body down so let's do something like that and oops let's grab the body and we'll grab the handle like that we kind of want to mold the fish into the the cat's body so if we go like that and we bend the fish down a little like that. So you see how this goes like that? I think that looks pretty cool. I also think this fish should be a little bit higher on the back. I think that looks pretty good. So let's raise it a little higher like that. And I think that's good. And I think I still want the body of the fish on the front to come down a little bit more like I think right where the cat's body is right there looks pretty good to me a little bit more and I'm going to hit apply now we'll take that same fish and we're going to mask it now this is the new version of the fix fish it's a pixel layer and I think this is good so I don't need the bottom layer anymore I'm just going to get rid of it delete it Okay, so we're going to take this fish and add a mask now. Cat. Let's bring the cat back to 100%. Okay, now on the mask of the fish, we need to get rid of some of this outside. 
So I am brushing with black. And I think I can get rid of some of that down there. And that looks about right. And now we're going to go to the cat's mask, which is up here. Do the same thing on the, the back half of the cat. Like, for example, this cat should not have back feet. So we're just going to mask them out. kind of weird looking I I know but that's the way it's gonna work it's kind of funny and you know that's not bad let's see what is here that's part of the cat let's get it bigger and make sure there's no no cat left on the back half and I think that's pretty good I think I have to rasterize this so let's let's rasterize the fish now Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the two of them, group it, and then rasterize, rasterize and trim them. And what that does now is it trims them down to their mask. So now this is just one rasterized piece. And now we'll go to the clone stamp. And we are going to do current layer. And now we'll hit the option key to pick the scales. And we're going to start adding scales to the cat like that to kind of give it the feeling that it's all part of the same we'll do it we'll grab some over here some of the darker scales and i have it on a very soft brush so it blends in that looks pretty cool huh <laughs> give it a little more near his belly and i would like some of the scaling to go way up here so, even to the head almost. I'm just tapping. If you hear that noise, I'm just tapping on the mouse. I'm not even dragging. I'm tapping. So, I want to take some of these lighter ones, maybe, for the head. Let's see what we can get here. I'm adding them to the cat's head. So, it's part of, like, a little bit like a fish. And some of maybe these darker ones here underneath his ear and coming down. So it's a mixture of fur. And again, I can't take too much time because otherwise the video will take forever. So I'm basically just grabbing from different areas and trying to make it feel like it's part of the fish. I'm taking some here. I think I'll go some dark ones here and bring some of this darkness back down and if I make the brush really small and take some of this I can take some of this right here and give it some of it some of it there I think that's good maybe a little on the stomach what do you think you tell me oh some of the belly definitely down here so let's get some of this light we're going to do option click and let's get some of the belly right here. Let's do a bigger brush, softer brush. And let's drag a little there and I think a little bit more here. And I think that's okay. Maybe up the middle. Uh, let's get a little bit of the darker right here. I'm going to say from here, I'll, I'll go like that and kind of blend that in like that and I like that so we're good now I want to kind of take the color from one of the colors from the fish so let's just do this for now and just keep that color there just in case and I'm gonna try it two ways first I'm gonna try a color overlay I don't think this is going to work but we can try it. So we'll do a color overlay, whoops, which of course I didn't, I should take the color from here. Let's do that one more time. Let's pick one of these gold colors. And so that's color overlay, and then we'll go to color. And it's not bad. I don't feel like it's got the right feeling to it. So let's not do that. Let's try a different way. 
let's try to do a hue and saturation. And we're going to desaturate it. So HSL. Let's des. Oops, wrong, wrong thing. Sorry. Desaturate it. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I want to have a mask of this cat. So I want to take that. First, I'll add another layer, and we're going to color this layer. We're going to put this uh, dark gold, maybe, and I'm going to group these two. And the reason I'm going to group them is I want to command click on the cat and which which selects the cat and then on the group I am going to mask and so now we don't we could deselect so now anything I paint will only be within that map will only be selecting that you see the edges right there so what I can do now is the dark gold, I'm going to turn that layer into color mode. And when you paint in color, and I'm painting with gold now, when you paint in color on top of black and white in color mode, you still get all the details, which is pretty cool. I love this. So I'm basically, I, it doesn't matter if I go out here because there's a mask. I can just swish right over it. And I might just do the whole thing for starters. I can erase some if I want to afterwards. But let's just do this. All right. Just like that. And I could with a little eraser. Maybe erase the eyes. We can give the eyes maybe another color if we want. And the mouth. And I like some of the white up here. So... We'll take away some of that color and some white around the eyes, maybe like that. Okay, so that's the dark gold. Now we'll do Control or Command J. No, I'm wrong. Sorry. Now we'll just add another layer on top of the dark gold and maybe call it light gold. And we could decide where we want a lighter color of gold. So if I here I can go to I can kind of brighten it up a little, maybe like in that kind of gold range. And we could decide afterwards. And once again, this mode has to be color. So the details show through. And I'm gonna get a wide soft brush and and trying to brighten this up. And the problem with this now is I'm brightening it up, but I'm also doing it on top of the one below. So maybe I shouldn't be in color mode. Let's try some other mode. Let's see what we got here. Oh, the problem is no. The problem is I'm erasing instead of... <laughs> so here we go. So now we start painting that. And let's get some of the brighter colors in some of the areas we might want. And maybe near the head a little bit. And the tail definitely needs to be brighter. And the fins need to be brighter. And I'm sure it's, you could do a lot more with this. But what I'm doing now is I'm going to take that and knock down the opacity a little bit. Just to give it a little less like that. And I think I'm okay with that. If, if you know we can go one step further if you want we can add another layer um, do also color mode and maybe choose a green I don't know let's try and with the paintbrush in the green let's get a close-up and Maybe you want some green eyes or something. I'm just touching into the eyes. And maybe a little, I'll do it on the same one because this is not that bad. I'll pick a little, some kind of red and maybe like tongue the mouth. So, you know, something to that effect. And I'm okay with that. So now we have a catfish. And so I thought maybe we should 
add a background. So let's see what backgrounds. Okay, so I thought I was going to do it a different way. I had all these beach scenes, and after working on it, and I even recorded that part, I didn't like the ending. So I'm going to try something different. So what I have now is this picture, and I will bring this right to the front. And it's just a picture of ocean water. And what I'd like to do is change the blend mode. Let's see what would work the best. Hue is not bad, except I hate that yellow in the middle there, but hue is not bad. Uh, color, color is also pretty good. Hue, color, hmm, let's do, I'm going to leave it as color. So now I want to con control or command click on the cat to make a selection. And then on the pixel layer of the water, I am going to create a mask. And then after I create the mask, I'm going to invert it. So the cat is still showing through. And now what I want to do is have this part of the cat in the water. So it looks like his head is just coming out. So kind of let's just um, with a soft brush and I'm painting the mask in white and I'm trying to get the, all the parts that's in the water here. And I'm just painting around and making sure that that's like that. And that's not too terrible. I think I'll even go right, right under the chin, kind of like that. I'll go a little smaller with my brush. So it looks like his head is just coming out of the water like that. And I'm okay with that, I think. So what I think I'll do now is I will... Do layer merge visible and that gives me a brand new copy so I don't need anything else here this is just a pixel layer so let's try a little dodge and burn I'm gonna burn which means it's darker and I kind of want to just darken up I gotta go wide brush and very soft and very little bit of flow I'm going to kind of darken this. At the more you go down, the darker you get. So let's keep going. I'm just going to, especially down here. And it's more for the cat, but um, or I should say the fish. You can't tell what the difference at this point. But I just wanted to darken this on the bottom. And then maybe we'll go to. Let's, I want to try and get a little bit of white foamy look here. I don't know if I can do that. So let me just see if I could take find another brush. And what kind of brush do we need? Let's do a texture brush maybe. Something like that might be good. And I'm going to make it small. And I'm going to try this on a new layer because I'm a little afraid of what, I, what, my, what might happen. But I kind of think like where's where where he's coming out. Just let me tap a little here and there, coming out of the water, and maybe let's try a different blend mode. I don't know which is going to work. If it's not, that's not bad. Hold on that one average I'm gonna do average and so that's just kind of giving us a little foam and I could erase some of that if I don't like it I can just let me just calm down I don't, there's a little bit too much here and maybe up here I just wanted to look like a little bit of foam as he's coming out of the water I'm gonna also do another layer um, merge visible again right there and then I'm going to go to liquify. It's, I don't know if this is going to work. But I'm going to try and just get a little bit of a distor distortion because it is underwater. 
So I'm kind of doing this kind of, a, I'm just bouncing it around. It's not quite the right way. I could have used, I think there is a filter for wave waveforms and stuff too. I could use that, but I'm just want to freehand it. Sometimes freehanding it to me is fun. So I want it to look like, like it's not perfect underwater. So I'm just going to go a little up, a little down like this, and maybe a little bit of this like that. And it gives it more of a, here, let's, let's distort this a little bit. And we'll say apply. So I like that. And then maybe we'll give it a vignette. Now, before we give it a vignette, let's do, um, let's take the, that photo now and give it a curves adjustment. So let's see, let's do curves. And we'll do a little up here and a little bit down here, give it a little depth, kind of like that. I always like an S-curve whenever possible. It doesn't always work. And we can also try maybe clarity. Let's see. I don't know where clarity is. Maybe it's in live filters, is it? Mm -hmm. Let's see what else we can use. I think clarity works. And we'll see how much, bring it up a little bit. Just very little, we don't want too much. So now let's give a vignette. So now we select the layer with the, with the uh, catfish on it. And we go to live filters. And uh, right, there it is, vignette. And let's see what we can come up with. I don't know if this is gonna work, we'll try it. Maybe we can move the vignette right to the top of everything. And let's see how this works. Hmm, interesting, I am getting an opposite vignette effect. Oh, there we go, exposure's gotta be way down. There we go, okay. So exposure has to be way down here. You see, I don't really know half this stuff. I play just like you play, and we just come up with whatever we can come up with. The scale that's too big, and the shape, I'd say like that. Because we wanna focus on the actual drawing of the fish. And the final thing I think we should do is add a little bit of noise. Let's see where that is. Um, that might be under live filters too. Add noise. A little noise just to make it look like it's all part of the same picture. We don't want to go all the way up like this kind of thing. Whoops. Add noise. We want this all the way on top also. Now we don't want to come up that much. We don't want this kind of a grainy look. But it's it, but if you bring just add a little bit of touch of noise it kind of will feel like it's part of the same thing. So I'll do that. And I think that's it. So I hope you like this tutorial. It's not perfect. Uh, I, I always say that you need to take hours and sometimes days to get it really where you want to. If I had to do it again, I'd probably take a little more off of here, maybe make this a little more level, um, get rid of some of this orangey in here because um, it looks like he urinated in the water. But <laughs> so, um, but, uh, but for the tutorial, at least you got, um, at least you learned some techniques. I hope you did anyway, and have a good day. I hope you found these videos useful. If you did, please click like and subscribe. And if you'd like to support me, you can buy me a cup of coffee at buymeacupofcoffee.com slash df. And I hope you'll check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye.